channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and welcome back to my high school clicks cast series. I don't even know what episode this is because I'm having so much fun with this. I can't keep count. I still have so many groups I want to make and I am quite sure that I will be doing a high school clicks let's play which will be just so crazy considering how many students we will have. We will have like what like 30 or something students? How many do we already have? Probably over 20. Which is insane. We probably won't be able to focus on every single one of these, but we'll like pick one or two from each group that we play as and focus on whoever has the most interesting story. But anyways, today we are creating the rebels or the troublemakers as I was going to call them, but I was reading comments from last week's episode and there were a few comments suggesting that I would call them the rebels instead. And the rebels is shorter. It looks better on the thumbnail. So we're gonna go for the rebels kind of still very similar but uh, calling them the rebels also made it easier for me to kind of figure out their personalities and how they are like and how this group fits in the high school but last week I asked your guys' help on like just describing how the troublemakers would look like and what they would wear and you guys left me so many comments and they were actually super helpful so thank you so much I was reading them earlier today before I started creating creating this group so thank you that was awesome I need to ask you guys for more help actually while you're here I need help naming the artsy group like what can I call them it needs to be the something should I just call them like the artsy kids I don't know if they have an actual name please let me know in the comments because I need help with that because I'm gonna create that group soon anyways to me rebels um they hate school they absolutely hate school they don't give a crap about, about school they skip school all the time and they don't listen to teachers they don't do their homework they don't do projects um they just play pranks on each other or well, not on each other, but on other students. And I can see them like vandalizing possibly some things and doing like spray painting, like murals and stuff in The Sims 4. And they are quite an intimidating group as well. They're, they're not necessarily bullies, but they're definitely intimidating. Before we finish this first sim, let me tell you a little bit about him. So this is Ace. He is supposed to look a little bit older than the others because he's actually been held uh, in class. Well, how do you say English? He's been held back from graduating or like from like going to the next <laughs> grade like two times now. So he's two years older than everyone else in his class because he's been held back because he just, he's quite smart but he just doesn't care he doesn't do his work and he might be a little bit lazy so well lazy when it comes to school stuff so he's been held back and he's a little bit older and I wanted him to be the ultimate bad boy so I made him quite good looking he's definitely quite the charmer as well he has dated around the school a lot he's quite approachable and he can kind of get whatever girl he wants so yeah I gave him the serial romantic aspiration he's also quite fit so I gave him the active trait and then I also gave him I don't remember some other trait but yeah he's <laughs> he's quite the charmer I also gave him the motorcycle jacket that is from just the Sims 4 base game but once I found it I was like oh my god I have to use this for this group it is literally perfect I imagine him with a motorcycle he might also smoke which is not good for you kids don't smoke but I imagine him smoking as well like he just he's just like the cool guy you know cool charming type of guy but still he's a rebel <laughs> anyways next thing we are creating is Zara Zara also she has quite the backstory she she was actually raised in foster care and her foster parents weren't the best and she hasn't been treated too well and she feels like her actual parents didn't want her and then the foster parents didn't really seem like they wanted her either and then when she was younger she had a really hard time making friends in like primary school because she didn't have like cool clothes and I don't know like her parents never came to any events so she never made any friends and she she kind of created this wall for herself because she was hurt so much by not having her parents and then her foster parents being horrible that she doesn't let anyone in and she seems very cold and just very... 
I don't know, she doesn't talk to anybody and she doesn't make friends with anybody. She can come off as really mean and it's just, it's just her rough childhood. It's not really her fault. She just, she has a huge wall up and it's really hard to get past it. She also doesn't care about school at all and she also doesn't want to go home to her foster parents so she always stays out late out on town probably getting into lots of trouble vandalizing places and trespassing and who knows what she gets up to she's just she's gotten into some like bad crew and she hangs out with this rebel group at school I would say they're all friends but none of them really know that much about Zara because she doesn't really tell much about herself again she just she doesn't like to show her emotions like you will never see her cry you will never see her really happy or extremely angry she has like you know she kind of has the resting bitch face <laughs> which is a bad thing to say but she just she has the same expression the entire time because she doesn't like to show her emotions so I made her a loner and she's also mean she doesn't want to be mean but she just comes off as mean because she doesn't trust anybody and she doesn't want anybody else to ever hurt her again so I wonder if she's ever gonna find someone who she could trust or who she could fall in love with I don't know if we play as them uh, we will find out <laughs> anyways the third scene we are creating is going to be called Dax he he comes from quite a wealthy family but he really doesn't like the money that they have he was like he grew up with a lot of money getting everything he ever wanted and he's quite quite lazy I think I gave him the sloth trait as well so he's lazy he's messy like he never really had to do anything for himself but he's really bored of all the money now and he's kind of the kid who just creates a lot of trouble at school I'm sure he's playing pranks on the teachers I can totally see him like spray painting a teacher's car and he's quite funny he likes being the center of attention and whenever he pulls these pranks or whatever you want to call them everyone knows it's him and he doesn't mind it he always gets in trouble he's always being called into the principal's office everyone just knows him as Dax the kid who gets in trouble and he also sucks at school he just he's not the smartest and you all you know he was grown up with getting everything he ever wanted so he never really had to work for anything so he's not the smartest kid and he doesn't get the best grades and I gave him this hair which has like different colored highlights I really wanted to use it for one of these sims and actually gave him a lip piercing as well and then he has like uh some acne as well because I only gave that to one sim so far I think and I don't think that's very realistic so I wanted to give it to someone else as well and by the way I didn't say it, but I like to say this in every single episode this series is supposed to be very stereotypical so I am creating these characters based on stereotypes something like you would see on like urban dictionary or in American TV shows that I have watched a lot myself so these are very stereotypical not supposed to hurt anyone's feelings or anything like that and I'm not saying all rebels look like this or all jokes look like the jokes that I made but <laughs> this is just this is just my version I also gave him the kleptomaniac trait because I thought it was perfect for the rebels I, I wanted to give it to like all of them it was so funny but Dax is the one with the kleptomaniac trait and I gave him the uh what is he called like master of mischief aspiration because he loves doing pranks and yeah he's also like the spray painting king he's really into doing murals and he's actually quite good at it so he can actually be really good in art if he just wanted to put some effort into it anyways this is going to be the last sim her name is camilla she's pretty much she's like oh, it's hard to explain her personality but she she knows a lot of people at the school and everyone knows her i would say like she has a lot of friends but they're more like fake friends like she's friends with the popular kids and the jogs and the gods and like she's friends with all of them but they're mostly fake friends Camila runs like this <laughs> 
almost like a criminal group like she's made these other kids in the group work for her and she sells like test answers and whatever else you can think of like that at school like whatever like help you need for cheating you go to Camilla and a lot of these kids do a lot of these kids don't care and they will go to Camilla and buy like test answers from them stuff like that so she she's very well known at school she's quite outgoing she's a fun girl but she's also like a little bit mean and very intimidating if you were one of the nerds or the wallflowers you would definitely steer clear of Camilla because this girl like she gets whatever she wants or basically she gets anyone to give her whatever she wants she's she's quite cool I'm quite interested by her story I gave her red hair because I realized we did not have a redhead in this series yet we have a bunch of um, girls I think who have ginger hair like orangey hair but we did not have a redhead so I wanted to make one and I I thought it would be perfect for this group here the ripples obviously I think this hair is dyed to be this bright red and I know it doesn't work perfectly with this hat it clips a little bit and usually I wouldn't go for it but I really wanted to use it and I just thought this hair looked so cute with a hat on so I used it sorry for the clipping and then for her outfit she's gonna be wearing some ripped jeans with this denim vest that has studs on the back and she yeah, she's quite cool I don't know <laughs> I feel like she's quite a big persona at their high school anyways it's gonna be all the sims for the rebels if you want to download them I will be putting them on the gallery where you can find them under my username which is Eliandra YT or under the hashtag Eliandra Ooh, for Camila I think I gave her the leader of the pack aspiration because like I said she kind of has her way to be the leader make these other kids work for her I also think her and Ace dated at some point but they're kind of just friends now they're on good terms now but they're not romantic anymore I also gave her the genius trait because she she's very smart and cunning anyways for the CC check out my CC find tumblr which is a link down below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new here and let me know in the comments which one of these sims was your favorite and which group I should do next or if you have any ideas for new groups and what to call the artsy group thank you guys for watching I'll see you again tomorrow hope you're having a good day and and bye! This time I'm a win it. This time I'm a win it.